Alexa, next song. Alexa, stop. You know, sometimes you can trust Alexa and sometimes you just can't. Good morning and grand rising. We can easily do meditation in silence. You know, the body does have inner music. The body does have the ability to express its inner harmonies. And our souls are the beautiful, beautiful melodious instruments of which our bodies play. Good morning and grand rising. So as we use this instrument, our whole being and our whole body to connect with this instrument that we call our soul, we activate and prepare ourselves for the day. So let's begin with stillness and breath for about 10 minutes and then we'll move into our asanas, which are various yogic postures and poses. So at this time, you can choose your posture. You can sit upright as I am, or you can lie on your back in asana with your knees bent and your heels towards your bottom. All right, so let's open our hands in our palms to a receiving posture and let's connect our middle finger and our thumb as well as our forefinger and our thumb for this mudra i'm sorry that's my calendar <laughs> um, notification and let's just connect to our breath in this instrument called our soul let's take 16 breaths inhaling and exhaling Expanding the diaphragm and releasing. Let's begin. Focusing on the floor of the jawline or the chin, connecting to the hips and connecting to the sits bones. Becoming completely entranced by your breath and the stillness. Committing to this very simple action of breathing. Letting the body know that you are awake and you are ready for this new day. But you are also calm, still, and relaxed. If you have any sense of anxiety, angst, good morning, then just settle that down. If any thoughts begin to flood your mind, Let that go. Knowing that by nature, we are all moving. The very planet is spinning as we speak, orbiting around the sun. But for now, we are connected and grounded here on Earth. and gravity is supporting us. Four more breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Find your final breath. And release. 
let go of the tension in your fingers. Open your hands. Let's actually stretch the hands. So take one palm and then take the other and pull the fingertips down towards the earth. As you do that, imagine that you have a partner with their hands gently cradling the back of your head and press your head back. Open the mouth, open the draw. <sighs> that was a sneeze, sorry. <sighs> there goes another one. <laughs> open the mouth, release the tension in the jaw. And then exhale. Lower the head down. Flip the, the tension of the palm and then pull the elbow back towards you as you lower your head. Good. And come back to center. Do the same thing with the other hand. Fingertips down towards the earth. Power point of the palm pressing forward, inhaling, and leaning the head back. Notice that the shoulders want to come with you. If they do, just slide them down the back. Inhale. Exhale. Again, leaning the head back. Exhale. Bring the fingertips up and pull the elbows back toward you as you lower your head towards your chest. This time, really breathe into your back space. Really breathe into that thoracic center of your back. Good. Let's open our hands out to either side of our hips, nice and wide, planting our fingertips like suctions. And we're going to take a few salutations here as we prepare to transfer into asanas. So starting with stillness and just allow the body to just rock in any direction. Elbows can be soft as the fingertips are planted on the floor. Connecting the base of the jawline to the hips and the sits bones. Keeping that breath connected and feeling the breath all the way to the top of the roof of the mouth. Thank you for joining, thank you. So let's begin by opening the palms, floating the fingertips up towards the sky. Inhale and touch the palms. This is a great time to introduce your affirmation for the day. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, clasp the fingertips together. Inhale. <laughs> towards the sky. Exhale, tilting over and leaning. Inhale, circle around the center. Exhale, return back to the top of the head. Inhale, bring the body back down and through. Exhale, release forward and reach. Inhale, Inhale, draw the backs of the fingertips together, elbows out. Exhale. Squeeze the hands together. Inhale, release the hands down. 
and flip the palms to touch. Inhale, flip the palms up. Middle finger touch. Exhale, coming down all the way to the heart. Inhale, reach back up. Here's the sky. Exhale, clasp the fingertips. Inhale, pull fingertips up. Exhale, lean over. Keep both sits bones planted onto the floor. And open out as you circle down and around. Inhale, return. Exhale, press down. Stretch and reach forward and through. Exhale, come together. Let's stay here for a moment. We'll connect our thumbs to the baseline of our jaw. Open the jaw, drop the jaw, and then we'll take 16 biological pumps Inhaling and exhaling the breath in and out of the body, flapping our elbow wings. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. And a little faster. Again. Squeezing all of the air out of the body, all of their air out of the breath. Reaching forward. Walking the hands out and then sending the sits bones back. coming up so let's see what we got for today so it's looking like spirals let's try let's start nice and easy easy going with a half lord of the fishes pose one hand is behind the tush. One leg is crossed over. Calf is touching, looks like the knee. And that foot is really snuck up behind there. You've got the hand reaching back, actively reaching back. The mudra, finger, index finger to thumb and then we're just opening our heart here and reaching so I'll turn to the side so you see me It's a pretty nice pose and stretch. 
Now let's begin to transfer this to the other side. Excuse me, let me turn these notifications off so that my phone isn't Cross the leg over, calf to knee, foot to bottom, hand reaching back, mudra. Okay, so from here, let us move into this very intriguing pose. One foot stacks on top of the other. One hand wraps around that foot. And then we are leaning over. So I'll turn to the side so you can see me. I really like this pose. This is preparing for that standing pose. I don't know what it's called, but you've got your hand underneath and then it's extended out. This is um, preparation for it. It's called Mauritius, Mauritiusana.
I think it's a very powerful third eye um, connection. All right, let's move to the other side. I'm gonna stay on this side so that you can see the inner part of this. and then coming out of the pose. I like that one a lot. Wow, these, these fish poses are intense, so I want to stay here. Let's stay here and go into what is Mari, Mari, Marishina. Marish, mm, Marishina, yeah. Um, another version of Marishina, where the foot is underneath, the knee is wrapped around the foot. I'll turn to the sides so you can see that this bind is this bind is well. Looks like I'm gonna have to bring my hand a little higher. So her bind is at the point of her elbow. So if I can get that, that will be swell. But it's pretty intense. Her hands are as high as her elbow here. I'll go as high as my body will allow, which is probably just at the point of the shin of my arm. I probably wouldn't need an assist someone to get me here. And then she's also pretty upright in her spine.
Hmm. All things are possible. That's what that makes me think of. Let's try the other side. Possible energy bubble. out of that pose. Let's explore what they call easy embryo in the womb pose. So, um, our feet are together, hands are on the feet, fingertips are at some point they come to the temples and then the hands go out to the side. So, let's begin. And this one is a fun one to see face in front. So I'll turn and face front and allow you to see. And then we transfer the hands from underneath, placing the hands on top.
and will naturally, since we're already up here, go from upward star pose to a lower star pose. And we've got our face practically into the foot. Um, hands could be bound around the feet. This is a um, deep core connection. Balance. And hamstrings. And then let's lower down. Let's see if we can lower down together. That will be a beautiful piece of art. I will, I will personally commit to working on that. And just lowering down. Some people call this butterfly, but it looks like if you've got the hand, the shins planted and the bottom planted and you're actively bringing the head inward, this is star pose. And then coming up out of that, I want to do a let's just go into a half lunge here on the floor together. Stepping your right foot in front and the left knee back. Let's place the hand onto the knee. If you have blocks, you can use the blocks on either side of you. But if not, let's just press the hand onto the knee and let's take everything with us as we lower down. Hands on the top of the knee. Let's bring our arms up. And the challenge here is to keep the knee planted, keep the heel planted on the floor.
Connect the hands and start to lean back. Coming back to your normal stance. And then the hands find the knee again. Press into the feet. Place the hands on either side of the leg. Extend the leg out in front. Toes facing up towards the ceiling. And lower the body. And then press back up. Let's transition within a downward dog. Pressing back. And then soften and bend your knees. Walk your hand through. Lower the knee down to the floor and then bring the hands on top of the knee and slowly lower. Keeping the heel and the knee connected to the floor. Bringing your hands up by your, the side of your ear, reaching through your fingertips. Finding the breath. Finding your focus. Fingertips clasped together, index touching, and reach all the way through, up and back. Stay here for two breaths. And then bring the body back up to a lunge. Breathe the hands down. Breathe the hands by your side as you shift back, extending the leg out in front. Breathing the body down. Breathing the body up. Move into downward dog for transition. Bend the knees. Walk the hands back to the toes. Bring the hands up underneath the heels, like so. Pull the body through. Sit and lower the, the bottom back down to the floor. Sweep the hands in front for a chair pose. Keep the knees at the point of the hips and no wider. Charge your energy forward and send the hips back.
reach through your fingertips as you stand. Lower the hands down and just shift side to side. And that's all. Namaste.